<laughs> How about you, Catherine? Uh, it's, yes, because uh, I, uh, I auditioned for the role of Victoria Winters, which I eventually played, which is odd. But I, uh, all of us, everybody that came in for the uh, early auditions, uh, including Nancy Barrett, we all auditioned for the role of Victoria Winters. And, uh, and I auditioned nine times, and, and several good <laughs> camera tests. I like Jerry. I just kept coming back and back and back. And, um, and I uh, ended up doing a, an, a, a camera test with uh, Mitch Ryan, and, um, and then got the role of Maggie Evans. Okay. What is your question? I was wondering if you had any recollections of actually being in the films. Um, I've got recollections that I put in a book. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the two films that we did, and Laura wrote a, a wonderful piece uh, for the second film, and, uh, and they were Dan Curtis's shooting scripts, which he very kindly gave me, and I reproduced in the book. But, but then also, uh, because I've always been a writer, when I was um, sitting there waiting uh, you know, to go on camera, I would write on the back of the uh, of that day's um, uh, shooting um, schedule, and it ended up being sort of a journal, which I ended up, of course, reproducing in the book. Has anybody seen the Dark Shadows movie book? Including, including my feelings about Roger Davis. <laughs> I think I described him as a one-person crowd. <laughs> yeah. What is your question? Speak up. Nobody like Roger Davis. Hello, how are you? Hi. Um, I'm Lisa Mayer. Um, I actually had two quick questions. Um, the first is um, the scene with Grayson Hall. What, what's always mystified me is. Um, in addition to a kind of her unique acting style at times, was her hair. I was, which, which was her real hair? Did she ever <laughs> Yeah, it was always a wig because she had very, very short. Um, we all wore hair. Yeah, we all wore hair. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the studio. Yeah. But she, uh, she, she was uh, uh, eccentric. Um, that's a that's eccentric. That's a good word. Um, she was, she was an absolute character. The way she was on camera is exactly the way she was in rehearsal. That was, that was Grayson. Oh, that must have been a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. um, and my, my second question actually is, um, I guess, done with Catherine, but um, Joel Carruthers. I, I actually work in the AIDS field, and um, I know that Joel Carruthers passed away um, from, from AIDS. And I think, um, I think he died at a time that was still called grid. And I was, I was wondering if, if you'd comment on that. Well, I will actually, because um, uh, yeah, actually, he died of lymphoma, and um, uh, Joe was like my big brother. We were very, very, very close, and um, I, I saw quite a lot of him even after I left the show and I was living in Europe. He would come over to to London on um, short trips and, and so on, and we were just very, very close. So his passing was. Um, uh, very sad, and I ended up writing about it. And uh, had I not started writing about Joel, I would not have written my scrapbook memories of Dark Shadows because it really started with Joel. Yeah. Joel Crothers died in 1985, yeah. and your scrapbook memories book came out in 1986 for the 20th anniversary of Dark Shadows. Yeah. I, I just love the guy, and I, I, I can't see enough about him. Now, what is your question? Speak very loudly and clearly. Thank you very much. Good evening. My question is for you, Lana, Miss Parker. Uh, forgive me if I'm a little bit nervous, but you've been making me weak in my knees since I'm sitting <laughs> <laughs> here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I read somewhere that you had a couple appearances on the Tonight Show. So yes. Can you reminisce about that a little bit? I have another question. <laughs> Yeah, she was there. Um, well, that was memorable. Um, actually, he asked me about my character, and I said that I was, um, at that particular point in time, I was playing a vampire. And he said, oh, well, what's that like? 
And I said, well, please stand up. And he did. And I said, come to me for comfort. <laughs> and he did kind of some kind of a take at the camera. And I leaned into his ear and I said, turn around. And when he was turning around, I put in my teeth. <laughs> he had no idea. So he turned all the way around. And the camera, uh, at that point, was focused on me. And I had my teeth in. I went, ah! <laughs> And he spun around three times and did a prop fall. <laughs> I thought that he had fainted. <laughs> I mean, here, lots and lots of people drop, you know, watch the Johnny Carson show. And I just went, oh my God, what have I done? <laughs> but he was great. I mean, I was nervous, and he gave me some gin. <laughs> I was, I wasn't with Johnny. I can't remember who I was with. George C. Scott. Oh, right. The, the, uh, yeah, George C. Scott and I did a skit, but that was with Johnny. Yes, he was in it at the end. Also. Yeah, where, you know, where we uh, made out <laughs> very passionately. <laughs> and then Johnny walked out and walked into the scene and said, how could you do this to me? How could you leave me? I've loved you for so long and so much. And then George C. Scott stood up and said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Were you on the Tonight Show when Flip Wilson was a guest? Yeah, Flip Wilson, right. Yeah, that was that was a hard night because I don't know, there was some kind of uh, food and wine. And uh, I think the food was chitlins. <laughs> and then they were trying to find the French wine and go with chitlins. <laughs> so I was drinking wine and eating chitlins. <laughs> That's all I remember. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I also read somewhere that in between your shoots, we had some time off on the doc channel's schedule, that you lived in a commune in upstate New York. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>